weekend. So I don't know how many of you have read uh, the bio of this amazing leader. Okay, military brat, huge Marine Corps family, massive Marine Corps family, probably the most I have seen in a very long time. 20 members of her family have served as United States Marines. 240 years of service in one family. So she is a true legacy uh, within the family. And mom and dad, drill instructor and recruiter, right? Which, who was which? Drill instructor. Drill instructor was mom, recruiter was dad. Did you both meet at Paris Island or did you meet <laughs> someplace else? In recruiting duty. In recruiting duty. And he was not my recruiter. I was not my recruiter. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to I was not it's good to set the record straight up front. <laughs> I think we're good with the statute of limitations. I think we're good. <laughs> all right. But a, a great family story, all right? So she, all over the place as a, as a youngster, ends up graduating from the Naval Academy, becomes a combat engineer, and does everything you want a young lieutenant to do. Have that first platoon, go on to be a company commander at first CEB, and now she's here. But she's also had a stint as an MOI, a Marine Officer Instructor at Tulane. She's had quite a lot of experiences already before she pens on major. I mean, a really phenomenal career. So we are excited to have her here on the Southcom team. So proud of her. And we met uh, 2019. So in 2019, uh, I was that colonel that walks behind the four star with the bag. We call him a military assistant. So that's what I was doing for the assistant coming on the Marine Corps. Uh, Walters or Thomas at the time, I can't remember which one, Thomas, yeah. Thomas in 2019. And we were at Bella Wood. We, were, we met at the Ambassador's Residence yes, in France, was the first time we met. So little did we both know way back then, uh, we would be both here today, now four years later. A little, a little bit uh, older, a little bit wiser, but uh, it was great to see you then, it's great to be here today. So. That's a little bit about this amazing leader. She's got an amazing career in front of her. The world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. You're gonna have joint already, or you got company command, and you're gonna go on and do phenomenal things. Just really depends on what you and Nico want out of life, and uh, there's no wrong answer. It's just your choice. So, I know the family is super proud of you. I know they're super excited to be here today. And I encourage you to hear the story of the drill instructor and the recruiter uh, at some other point in time, probably at the wedding down, because I'm sure the story will get better uh, at the wedding down as the time goes on. All right? Any other family members here today that I missed? Hi, Nico. Nicely done. All right, new major. Everybody, let's first, before I read her the oath, give a round of applause for the new major. Raise your right hand, repeat after me. I state your name. I, Baron Destino. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And that I bear true faith. That I bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And that I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office upon which. Of the office upon which I'm about to enter. I'm about to enter. So help me God. Help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Round of applause. Um, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, really quickly, I want to say thank you to, to God for always watching over me, guiding me, putting the right people in my path uh, throughout my career and, and leading me to this place right now with all of you here. I want to say thank you to General Nethercott. She's super busy today. She took her lunch to be here, and it means a lot. I look up to you a lot, ma'am, and I'm really excited to see what you do next in the Marine Corps, so thank you. To my parents, thank you for driving seven hours from Gainesville to be here today. I really appreciate it. My husband, Nico, who's been very supportive as well in, in my career so far. Tomorrow, we celebrate our first anniversary together, so I'm really excited for that. So, yeah. <laughs> 
J1, Colonel CP, Mr. Breslow, Mass Art and Calendar, you guys have been a really great influence. You make this uh, workplace feel more like a home, as well as my the rest of my J1 people who are here, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, specifically, Major Harris has been a really great mentor for me in the J1, as well as sounding board, so I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, to my J1-3 division, so Mac, Mass Art, Soto, Paola, Staff Sergeant, Winchester, Sergeant First Pass, uh, Samuel, thank you guys so much. Uh, you guys make me want to be a better version of myself, and you guys put a lot of work into the division, so I really appreciate everything you do. And to my Marine elements and Marine retirees, uh, all of my uh, Marine reservists who are here, aka the Marine Mafia, thank you so much for showing up. Uh, it's really easy to get lost in the sea of purple here at a joint command, um, but it's really awesome to have faces that we could go to within each directorate and count on each other to get stuff done, so I really appreciate that as well. Um, as uh, General Nethercott mentioned, last week I hit my 10-year mark in the Marine Corps and it felt like the blink of an eye. I'm sure a lot of you experience the same thing and a lot of times you don't have a chance to like stop, get out of your daily routine and really think and reflect on how you ended up where you're at. Um, so I thought a lot about my family tradition as General Nethercott mentioned and it really blew my mind when I started to think about how I got here. And it obviously started with my family um, and I really appreciate every one of them for really developing me, not just my family but also all my mentors throughout my career so far. Colonel CP, the Colonel Burks, the Colonel Hubbards, all of those people have really taken the time to develop me and I really appreciate that. Um, so I wanna say thank you, especially to my husband who's a Marine veteran and my parents who retired enlisted Marines. They taught me more about being a good officer than anybody else I've met. So I hope I've made you proud. And that's all I've got. Thank you so much for being here. I, you guys know I'm short and sweet. I don't like to talk a lot. So I appreciate everybody coming up into AC and, uh, and celebrating this moment with me. Thank you. Yeah, she's in. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll do one of the family and then we'll just let the family do it.